Hey guys, it's the Pirate King here, and I am actually bringing you a tutorial on how to record voice and uh, not only record your voice, but also record the music and sounds of your computer while making a video. And I am using this software right here. It is called Voice Meter. It is really nice. It is extremely nice, really. And I'm using this along with OCAM to make recordings. Now, you might ask, what's OCAM? Well, OCAM is just software that lets you record. I have found this to be the least impacting on a on my system. At least I have a really crappy system. It's all Dell Centrino inside. I think it's a Core 2 Duo. Anyways. I am going to show you how to set this up. This is actually kind of complicated, but it's not tough. Like, if you follow the directions and you watch this video once or twice, you will get it. If you have any questions, ask me, but please don't ask questions until the end of the video, because I like to stumble on stuff, but at the end, it should all make sense. Anyways, first thing you're going to want to do is go to VB Audio Software's website, and I'm going to have this link in the description, hopefully, if I'm not retarded. If I don't, please remind me. I'm sure you will anyways. I'm sure there's already 20 messages about it, actually. Anyways, you're going to want to scroll down here, and here's the thing. You need to get Voice Meter. This is Voice Meter. You can download it uh, from somewhere on this page. You know, I seen it a second ago, and now I can't find it. And it might actually be this. It might be this, maybe shit I'm already fucking up anyways yeah it's it's here it's on this site I'm gonna link I'm gonna have to link both fuck anyways I think you could have actually I could have actually probably clicked on it but this is voice meter this is the uh, this is the interface actually for a virtual audio cable you're you're gonna wanna get both Th these are very this is a very good software for if you're doing recording and they even have a little minecraft thing to show you that these are great for let's players this is outstanding for Let's Playing. I can actually turn music on without you guys hearing it, hopefully. I've, I haven't tested this, but you shouldn't be able to hear this because I actually have a Music B. And Music B actually has it to where I can go in and tell it to not go through that software. And I'm trying to find it now to prove to you guys that I'm not an asshole, a lying fuck. Right here, I can go to player, direct sound, and then right there, speakers and headphones. Voice meter isn't picking any of this up. It's not picking up the music. It's, it doesn't give a fuck about the music. This is where it would show if it did. Anyways, you're going to want to install both of these. I'm going to turn the music off now. Uh, you're going to want to install both of these, download it. This is, these, these are good. These, these work great. You have to run this in administrative mode. Please follow the directions on this, on the site as well. But install that, install this. These are really great. And then after you install it, before you restart your computer, which you're probably going to have to do, go to osoftware.com's website and get OCAM if you plan on doing recording. If you already have recording software, you can ignore this. But this is some really good recording software. You're, you're going to want to do this. This stuff lets you set a box and no matter what shape you set the box in it will still record it will still give you footage in the aspect you tell it to in the settings which is much better than I could have ever dreamt something being and yeah this is really great stuff but after you set it up it's going to be confusing you're gonna you're gonna wanna start it up and you're gonna you should start by pressing this and telling it to go through the speakers now after you do that you're going to want to go to your audio settings and this might look a little different for people but it's the same concept you see normally this is set to default you're going to want to find the voice meter input you're going to want to right click it and you're going well actually that might not even be right you're going to want to set it as default just you know click it set it as default click it click that and it works now <clears throat> now after you set it up what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn it on like I have here 
Tell it to take the hardware input as the microphone. You don't have to worry about anything to do with the rest of the computer. That is the virtual input. That's why we did the last step. And that's why we're doing this step. Now, something else that you're going to have to do is whenever you get to your recording software, and I can't really show this because my recording software is recording, but go to the settings, and you're going to want to tell it to... Let me see if I can find it here. I want to find the full name so everybody knows and everybody won't call me a dirty fucking liar. You wanna, you're going to want to make this what it's recording from. Set it to microphone, set it to speaker, set it to whatever, but this is the path. Don't tell it to do your line and don't tell it to do your microphone away, array. Tell it to do this. Because this way, it will not only record the voice, but it re will also record the virtual audio, which is everything that's being sent through this. And as I mentioned before, this, this isn't being set through this. You might ask, well, why not? It's on the computer. Well, it's not going through the sound driver. Everything is set to default to go through a sound driver, the default sound driver. But with certain software, and uh, I think one software that can do this is Skype. Another software that can do this, I believe, is... Uh, I think some emulators and some games allow you to do this. I'm not sure. Don't hold me on that. I think Steam allows you to do it for a voice chat. But yeah, you're going to want to go to here, go to this. Don't tell it to go through the default. Don't never do that for this because... It sounds awful and there's another reason it can sound awful and I'm about to get to that for people that are actually having problems with it I'm sure this is gonna be a big comment but sometimes this gets distorted this this gets distorted a lot let me close out these and shut this off I think I pretty much got it I hope I'm not missing anything but it can it sound uh, occasionally it can sound a little like a uh, highly distorted and watery click this you're gonna to want to drag this over here of course now the buffer size will need to be increased. It's set to this by default. Increase it to this and see if it works. If not, increase it to this. The best way you can see if it's working is, well, it'll it'll actually automatically record your hardware and make it sound like it's normal. But make sure this is set to A and B. Because B is your virtual out. B is what I'm recording with, technically. It's the uh, line that allows you to... It's the line that's being captured by the uh, software that captures. A is going to the hardware. If you don't want to hear something through your speakers, turn it off on A. If you want to hear something through your speakers, turn A on. If you want something to be captured, though, you have to turn B on. That's why B is on both of these. Now, you actually have room for two different microphones or whatever if you choose to do that. They, this is donationware, so if you really like this software and you have money, please donate. These people are great. It is outstanding service. I contacted them the other day about this problem and fixed it. I buffered, I actually set both higher. I didn't know if I had to do that. I also set the sample rate higher. I'm not sure if I had to do that, but it fixed the problem. It made to where any wateriness went away and it sounds clear now. It sounds crystal clear. It sounds amazing. And this software is sweet. It allows you to mute different stuff. The only downside is you cannot use your hardware keys if you have multimedia keys to control this. You have to go into there and change the volume slider. So before you change the volume slider, consider changing the sliders on YouTube videos and whatever you're watching. And if you have to, take your headphones out if it's really loud because sadly right now the hardware keys do not work on it. Maybe they'll fix that in a future update. There's no telling. <coughs> Sorry about that. But as of right now, this hardware is this so the software is still very good. This is pretty top-notch software. It gives you pretty good equalizers and allows you to uh, pan some of the stuff and change the audio ability. And if you're a Let's Player, this is must-have software. This gives you much more control than anything else will. This gives you power, and you want power because you want good footage. And with this, you get that. It's not perfect. This, this is kinda... I'm sure professionals have better software to work with that's a whole lot more complicated. But this is great for what I'm using it for, and that's pretty much just this. And, yeah, pretty much. Uh, be sure to check the software out. If you like the software, please support the developers, because they're, di they're giving this, way, this stuff away as donationware because they believe in it so much. And you should at least, if anything else, tell your friends about it. Tell, tell the community about it. Get this stuff out there. 
And even though it is a little complex, it's just slightly complex and it's worth every bit of hassle and it's worth every extra step because now I have fully recorded way better recordings with way less trouble. I don't have to listen to my own voice. I don't have to listen to whatever. I don't there's no feedback. It's just recording. And that's great. That's that's something I see requested a lot and that is something I'm glad I found and I want to share it with you guys. And be sure to check out OCam as well because like I said it's really great software. Anyways, Thank you for watching my video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and share with your friends so they get in on this nice, beautiful software gold.